Well, now in its 15th year, Hollywood showcases Pacifica short films from New Zealand and abroad. To tell us more, please welcome to the cafe its director, Craig Fussy, and film directors, Amberly Jo Umo, and also Tui Emma Gillies. Welcome, guys. Yes, welcome. Um, Craig, let's start with you. So what can people expect from this year's festival? Um, very much staying true to uh, Pollywood in terms of the multi-genre, multi-level uh, films, docos that come through. Very much an eclectic mix of films that um, has a bit of poetry, has a bit of spoken word, a bit of um, documentary, a bit of drama. There's, there's something for everyone, so it's a very, um, I suppose, a, a well-selected choice of films that I think um, come together quite nicely and, and tell a story of uh, who we are as a Pacific people. Carefully curated. Exactly. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. And, you know, is, is it fun or is it hard? Because I guess there's some you've got to, you can't show, but it's, it would be fun, wouldn't it? To a point, to a point, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I, I suppose it's, it's all about trying to, to delegate timing and my uh, time management is uh, slowly getting better after, what, 15, 17 years of, <laughs> of doing what I do. But um, it, it's always a case of trying to find that, that best mix of films that work well and mm -hmm. um, represent our people as a, as a whole. Excellent. Nice. Amberly, your film Waiting is um, one of the films that is on offer. Now, you, it was selected for the Toronto Film Festival as yeah. well. That's incredible. <laughs> so what does it mean to be part of Hollywood for you? Um, being part of Hollywood, it's, it's great to bring it back home and for our people as well. Um, being part of Hollywood is a platform for our Polynesian people, our stories and representation as well because we don't see ourselves enough on screen as well as behind the scenes. Mm. I've been lucky enough mm. to see Waiting, loved it. It was so <laughs> cool. Um, tell us more about it. Uh, so Waiting is about two boys who wait outside the dairy for a phone call. It's a simple story shot in Manirua, South Auckland, about hope and unity between these two boys and how they work together, yeah. Mm. Don't want to give away too much. <laughs> yeah, no, true. Well, I'll tell you what, we won't show you the whole thing. Well, let's take a quick look at waiting. Anything yet? No, not yet. Can I have a look at it? Loved it. It looks so great. Good. Now, Tui, your film is mm. um, it's a collaboration, isn't it? Uh, artistic collaboration. Mm -hmm. When you and your mum went back to where she grew up, is that right? Yes, Falevai and Fava'u. Wow, so tell me a little bit about it. Uh, it's a very, um, it's a real raw video film. <laughs> so it was the first time you'd, you'd picked up a video camera and done a bit, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. A, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, so, so what made you want to do it? I wanted to do it because it just means a lot to me. The, my culture, my Tongan culture, my mother, I feel like it's embedded, you know, to go back and keep doing the tapakoff of making and creating the art. One of the one of the, the realizations when watching that short film was that the art of making tapakoffs hasn't been done for years. On Mum's particular island, Falivai, yeah, it, it hadn't. And why was that? Is it just a lack of trees? Uh, yeah, there were actually no there were no mulberry trees growing there. Right. Um, they were more into the weaving. So that was, that was quite phenomenal for us because we went back there thinking, oh yeah, well they know what they're doing. And actually it was like we were reviving it again. So oh. it was, yeah, it was so really amazing. So many purposes, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Should we take a little look at the clip, shall we? Yeah. All the women mark the occasion by wearing flowers in their hair and kahoa necklaces. And as always, Letty is the life of the party. <laughs> The kupisi rubbings are placed under the natu or tapa cloth. Seini <laughs> Loao keeps the tapioca coming. She passes it to Belimi Lose and a human chain feeds the woman working on the natu. Wow. Fascinating. So have you, have you shown the ladies in the village the end product? They have seen pictures of it. And what do they yeah. think? They're pretty, they're really humble. They're like, hmm, because colour's a new thing. Um, it's not really used on tongue and tapa cloth. It's just not. 
And one of the things I loved about that um, short film was that not only did it show the history of tapa making, but it also recharged your, your Tongan batteries, so to speak, both you and your mum. Well yeah, worth absolutely. the visit. Yeah. And to capture all of that and then show us, I thought was absolutely brilliant. I love what your mum said about the whales, that she couldn't understand why people pay to <laughs> yeah. go and see whales when she grew up with them. Just, yeah. just a little peek of that movie. Uh, make sure you go and see it. OK, Craig, what was it about Amber Lee and Tui's films that made them be in this Hollywood festival? Um, I thought that the films had resonance with the, with the cultures that they represent, um, both a, um, I suppose, multicultural with waiting and, and Tonga with um, with Fale by Flavor. The films themselves were, I think, a, a good showing of um, Toy's um, obvious raw approach to film, her first approach, and then you had um, Amber Lee's direction, um, which was all about uh, the studies that she went through. So at the same time, it, it gave them a good perspective of the grassroots and the established. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the, the films came together quite nicely and it plays well within the, within the scope of the programme. And there's other movies as well, of course, our Sunday Fun Day. Tell me quickly a little bit about Vaka. Vaka, a um, very uh, amazing story, actually, 100, 100 years ago, odd Cook Islanders went to fight in the war. Um, a group of artists, Cook Island descent, went to England and France to um, basically pay tribute and, and recapture their, um, their, their time over there and also um, talk about the times that their cultural heritage, how important it was in the, um, in the war. Oh wow, that sounds fascinating. Mm. Well, it sounds like a lot on offer. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, go and check it out. Do it. Pollywood Pacifica Film 15 2017 is limited to two sessions only, so make sure that you get your ticket quick for either the Mangari Arts Centre or Auckland Art Gallery from Event Finder. <laughs>